Cooking is a form of chemical reactions. You take vegetables, meat, and all kinds of spice and ingredients, you mix them together, you are creating chemical reactions. Oftentimes, that's what we do in chemistry lab. You mix different ingredients, you use different time, temperature, and all these to make new compounds. In cooking, it's the same thing. I'm very conscientious about what we have done to our Earth. I wanted to be able to do something as a chemist to help make this place a little better. Conventional lubes comes from petroleum oil, and that has many, many components. And in order to really get the best performance or best product, a chemist can go into the laboratory to build a perfect molecule so they would do all the good things we want with all the bad properties. And that's what a synthetic loop is about. In automotive lubricants, if you use conventional oil, you get 20 miles a gallon. But if you use synthetic lubricants, you may be able to get 22 to 23 miles a gallon. Even though you think, oh, two miles a gallon is such a trivial amount. But think about every year we use so many hundreds of gallons and there's millions of cars on the road. By using synthetics, you avoid generating all this waste oil. It's a huge improvement to our society's well-being. That's something we are proud of. I struggled for many years as a woman chemist, as an inventor. As time goes on, it gets easier. And also the company changed, the whole society changed. We have more and more women in our workplace. Young women, if they want to establish themselves independently and have a good future, to be able to contribute positively to our society. Science engineers is really the best career path. I have to admit, I don't follow recipe or chemical process. I always like to change something because I always thought maybe I can do better. Even in cooking, I always change my recipe. I think you can always do better. But if you do the same thing, you will get the same thing out. And that's not very interesting. You change a little, just a little, something will happen. It was exciting to see, wow, doing such different things creates such a new thing and it has great property. You know, that's my Eureka moment. It's a good feeling.